all the all this stuff is still here. Okay, so if you didn't catch the end of the part one of this video, to give you some context, we are currently on charter in the Madeleine Islands, and Paul and myself were kite surfing off the back of the boat when Paul saw this sailboat here drifting through the anchorage and he immediately realized that there was no one on it and it was going to end up on the rocks really shortly so it was full systems go we jumped in the rescue tender and the rest just unfolded jump on jump on okay so we were just out doing a kite surfing session and uh i noticed that there was a sailboat dragging nobody else seems to care every single boat this these guys right now just cruised right past them but uh, these guys are going to end up on the rocks very shortly if we don't sort them out. So uh, let's go see what's going on, try and tow them back to uh, safety, make sure everything's okay. All of our other tenders are out with guests right now, so here we are in our, in our aptly named rescue tender. <laughs> and uh, let's go do a rescue. So uh, let's see if there's anyone on it to start with. Hello? 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 Tyler, jump. What's up? Is that a check-up with him? Yeah, go. Hello? 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 Hi. Anyone on board? No. Okay. Trying to figure out how to start it up. We got a bow line. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Got a pass. Got a line on that boat somewhere? Um. We left our bow line. Uh, there's definitely no one on board, eh? Hello! Hello! Yeah, just pass me a line. You ready? Hello. Are you running? Uh, we gotta pick up anchor. You gotta pick up the anchor. Hello! Just chill, we're fine. Okay. You wanna find out where we can pick up the anchor? Yeah, sure. Tyler, just throw me the tail end of one of those lines around, around the winch there. There must be a control somewhere here. There's nothing up yep. on the bow. There's nothing up on the bow. Nothing up on the bow. Do you have power at all? Yeah, I got power. I'm on. So you just need to show me where it's heading. Okay, hold on. Let's get that anchor up. Hey? Yeah, you up and down, tie up and down. Anchors up and down. Okay. Okay, we've got a button. So we're boarded and uh, no one's on board. You know, 50 foot Beneteau type sailboat just drifting away. So, uh, rules of the sea, we own it now, right? <laughs> it's ours. It's ours. <laughs> so, uh, no, this often happens as yachties. We often, uh, being professional mariners ourselves, keeping an eye out and often see uh, boats happening. So uh, yeah, we we'll do our bit, we'll drive it back up into the wind and, uh, and we'll re-anchor it for them. I wonder if the owners have even noticed that it's missing. So uh, let's get it done. <laughs> I'd say that's a beer fine. Yeah, I'd say so. This is gonna stay the time, right? Yeah. We're home. You're Yeah, I think this is the guy over here. Okay, guys, if you guys can um, pull up the jib, main the right, the main sail. What, what else do we say? Reef it, eh? So, uh, so Tyler clearly knows nothing about sailing. I did, I did uh, my yacht master many years ago under sail. Yeah. Um, I was crewed on there, and that's all I can remember. So, so uh, I know an uh, emergency job, and that's it. So Tyler, uh, so we're gonna claim salvage. Oh yeah, <laughs> so, mate. This is a pretty good boat. This is good. This is, we've done well for ourselves. This is what we want in love. <laughs> I would rather switch for a catamaran, but we've got some bezel over there. Yeah, we pretty bezel. sorted. Uh, we've got some bezel, we've got a book. We've got a bush. A book? <laughs> we've got a, we've we've got got a, a bush. Who's <laughs> <laughs> bush? So, I'd say bring it up behind the cat over here. Let's anchor it out the back. Yeah. And, uh, and, and go for Should it. we just completely mess the person and anchor it all the way <laughs> down there? <laughs> We should just tie it off the back of us. I love that they're, they're gonna come. Yeah. Or we just put it all the way on the other side and just like hide it from the person. Just... So, 
Anyway, so uh, we're going to do our second tour. So I'm going to take the microphone back. So hold on, let me plug this. Let me plug this mic on. And since you guys like tours of yachts so much, we're going to go. So here we are in the main cockpit. So this is, um, so, yeah, we bought this thing at what, about uh, two minutes ago? Yeah. Two minutes ago. We, well, we claimed this we thing. We claimed this thing about two minutes yeah. ago, yeah. And uh, bags up. managed to fire it up straight away. And so let's, uh, so let's, let's go. So here we go, cockpit. Let's go downstairs. Oh, we've got a nice big dining room. Coming through, master cabin. Nicely folded clothes, nice little bathroom, two cabins in the back, and then we come back up up onto deck. Man, whoever lost this, this would have ruined their day. Like, I would be really upset if I lost the sailboat. I think the guy must have gone swimming. Yeah. If you look at this, everything's all the, sitting here. All their stuff is still here. Shore, I reckon. Yeah. There's still phones and everything lying here. Like, yeah. oh, well, they don't have a dinghy. So, unless yeah. they're towing one, but it looks more like they're going swimming. I hope they're okay. Yeah. If it's still here tomorrow. I mean, I don't even know where it would have dragged from. Did it bounce its way I out? Can't of even, I can't even turn this on to see where it came from. It would have had to be one of these ones at the back here. Yeah. Because it was just bounced its way through the anchors. Know, anyway. yeah. So this is a good story. We were in Beckway in the Caribbean one night, and same thing. The yachts always sit out the back, all the little sailboats up in the front. And uh, my night watch officer came and banging on my door at like two in the morning. We had about 35, 40 knots of wind, and um, there was just sailboats, just like what? 10, 15, 20 sailboats all coming through. We were in the ribs, we were in the tenders, all fending them off and just watching them go but unfortunately that night we couldn't rescue them there was too many for us so but it was they were just all aiming for the yacht so we had to just fend them off and they were going out to sea I mean I, we ended up picking up our anchor and leaving that next morning so I don't know what happened but uh, I mean there was probably a couple of million dollars worth of rental sail yeah. yachts <laughs> drifted out well into the open ocean so hopefully that story ended well yeah but uh, at least we managed to save one yeah Nice. I wonder so, how we're going to find this person. Like, this is going to be interesting. I'm actually thinking like, we might just go just up all day. If they are swimming, it'll be a bit closer for them over there. Yeah. I just like did two kites around it and like I just watched it getting further and yeah. further and I was like, oh no, we need to go rescue this thing. We could literally just anchor it somewhere and they would come back and they would never know. Never know. be like, our sailboat just moved a bit. Like, well, but no, they'd know because there's no beer left in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I was in the galley and I was just chatting to the chefs about uh, desserts and then all of a sudden here on the radio, Tyler, 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 Tyler. I was like, Tyler, you need to come on this. <laughs> I think we come, we leave it and then we go write a note on it. Yeah. Saying, watch our video. How's your, how's your video? <laughs> Tune in next week. How's your Italian though? Yeah. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. We save your boat. Uh. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> ciao, ciao. And Right in the middle between these two, and then um, F8. Oh, this. And Tyler, do you have power now? That'll be good. We found, found the him? owner. You found him? Yo, there we go. Good job, man. Okay. It's okay. Good job, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Grazie mille. Yeah. <laughs> Grazie mille. There you go. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Oh, ah. there you go. Uh -huh. It was all it? the way down there. there. All the way, maybe like uh, 50, 100 meters from the rocks. Dove siete voi? Yeah. Questa. Yeah. It's okay. Grazie ragazzi. Dopo, dopo. Dobo vengo, thank you. Dobo vengo. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Thank you. I'll give it to you. You can take it. Yeah. Captain, my captain. 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 You good? No, no. I, I, uh, I, I'm, I'm. Zero. Uh, <laughs> ben, uh, ben, I, I'm go. Okay. 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 You need a hand. You good? Uh, you need help? Or are you okay? No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. There you go. Okay. So, 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Other standout features include the famed Nemo Lounge, a below the waterline glass observatory of the sea life outside and around the yacht. She also features a nine meter swimming pool on her aft deck with a resistance flow for those that want to swim laps whilst on board. Her famous seafoam green hull color was custom created by Fedship and a special painting technique had to be developed to get it absolutely perfect in one complete shoot. On her sun deck, there's a wood burning fireplace, a rare feature on modern yachts due to the fire hazards involved. All of these features and more make Savannah worthy of her reputation and it's always special when we get to see her around. Check out behind me, Motor Yacht Faith. Definitely one of the sexiest super yachts on the water. We love seeing her. We are currently in Cala de Volpe in Sardinia. She's a staple in this area. We see her often here, especially during the summer months. And she is spectacular. 95.6 meters, uh, 2,999 gross tons. So just under that 3,000 ton limit. Uh, what else? 31 crew. And I mean, spectacular. We always love seeing her. Actually, even just before we pulled in, as we were coming past, we saw a certain Formula One team owner stepping off of her swim platform. So uh, always really cool to see those guys. And wow, always great to see this boat. About one week's worth of trash from the charter. Oh, one week's worth of crush from the charter or so. Nice. And, uh, we try and reduce most of it, crush up our cans. Uh, we've got a glass compact, compact on board, so everything gets uh, kept on board. And then uh, we'll actually send it to a recycling bay once we get back to the port. And then right now they're just taking all our general trash. Um, we've divided most of the general trash up for them, and uh, they'll take it to a facility, facility on board. Oh, that's short. Okay, I think that's all the trash. We just have one more to go. Sean, Sean, are you ready to go? <laughs> okay, so I was just filming an engine room tour with the Enjos and I got a call to come and film the guests jumping off the boat. So I ran outside, gave Franco a GoPro and he jumped in. As he came up from jumping in, no GoPro, so I'm going to dive down and see if I can find it because uh, we're running low on GoPros on board currently, so we really need to find this one. There he is. Franco, what's up here? Pass that sea bug. Okay, so our, our GoPro mission was successful. <coughs> It was just chilling on the floor, <laughs> right, so in, cold. right in front of where they were looking. But I'm stoked that we have it back. Yeah, and it had a whole bunch of guest footage on the SD card too. Ooh. So, yeah, Frank was definitely getting a beer for that one. <laughs> uh, all crew, all crew, look at the stern camera now. Look at the stern camera. Watch the stern camera, guys. This is Blair versus Bjorn. Let's go, boys! Okay, play with them. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't lose it. There we go, boys. I can make up. Good morning, day seven. What a beautiful morning, almost zero knots of wind. We just picked up anchor about 10 minutes ago from uh, Cala de Volpe and we're coming around to Porto Chervo for the day. Uh, 
last day, so we need to go all out. We're gonna put everything in the water, the scuba ski Nautique, the X-Craft, all the jet skis, all the inflatables, and we're gonna have just a massive water sports day. Then around about six, seven o'clock this evening, pick it up, put it all back on board, and then we're gonna move around into Porto Chervo. This is our last day. The crew are working hard for their tip, and uh, we're just gonna absolutely smash it, give the guests that ultimate experience where they just leave it all out there on the table. So uh, yeah, gonna be a great one. This, what, what you got there, Blair? This is a very wet Mavic 3 Pro. It, um, it doesn't like it when you hover it in the sky and sailboats drive into it. So, yeah, I, was just, I had it hovering in the sky just waiting for the next person to get behind the ski Nautique. And uh, a sailboat just went clean into it. But, uh, what's that orange thing on it? This is called a drone retriever. Thank you, drone retriever, because um, as you can see, we've got our drone back, which would have been in about 40 meters of water otherwise. So that's good. So uh, what are we going to do now? Now, <laughs> now we're going to do what, what we always do, and we're going to DJI, and we fill out our, our DJI K-Refresh form. We send this off to them, and then they send this new one back. So um, yeah, it'll be like 100 bucks or something. But at least it's not three grand for a brand new drone. But yeah, this is not good. This okay, is... and now, and now, what do, now, what do you have to do? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you have to do, Blair? Paul wants me to wear a life jacket every time I fly the drone, which I don't think is a good idea. Yeah, definitely. You gotta, you know. <laughs> I just want to go sulk somewhere. I, I don't want to do this. Yeah. Hey, look, there's Shawnee. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, Sean. See, even Shawnee says you should wear a life jacket. Everybody knows it's the uh, price of wearing a life jacket of uh, crashing the drone. So, thank you, oh, Santa. Oh look, magically there's a new drone. <laughs> this one's missing a lens though, but um, <laughs> this is just a Mavic 3. That was a Mavic 3 Pro but we keep these in stock on Loon for situations like this. And um, yeah, we'll get this one ready and carry on filming the guests, I reckon. So thanks, Paul. Let's uh, repack the uh, drone retriever. Yeah. Get that on. You're not allowed to fly without that and your life jacket. We've got our drone, drone retriever. Little CO2 canister plugs in here. And then this is our life jacket. This is just what saved the other drone from going 40 meters down. So I'm glad we have another one of these. So big day, we had everything in the water. Guests were wakeboarding all afternoon, bunch of uh, jet skiing, playing on the pool, even some kite surfing lessons. Uh, with guests have now gone ashore in the tender, they're off shopping, running around town. So we've packed everything up and we're now just in line. We're moving into Porto Chervo. Bjorn behind me is talking to the marina at the moment. And uh, there's about three or four boats in front of us. We're just gonna make our way in, drop our anchors and do a nice big, nice big stern tie. So uh, it's been a great day. It's been a great trip. Just a few hours to go until drop off tomorrow. Absolute chaos right now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six yachts. Is there anyone behind oh, us? Three. Three behind us. Seven, eight, nine yachts, like all in line, all trying to get into port at the same time. The marina's freaking out. Everybody's freaking out. It's just Italian, lots of really quick Italian on the radio. But uh, Bjorn, Bjorn's still trying. Code, code eight's jumped the line. They, uh, they've snuck one in. They were, they, you know, they should be back of the line there, buddy. But uh, you know, I guess. Chaos. Absolute chaos.
We are just up in the bridge with Captain Paul. He is on his port wing station going in to Port Chebo. We'll go chat to him. Do you want to tell us what you're doing? Oh, uh, not much. Do you, <laughs> do you want to tell me how to do it? I think he's doing a pretty good job. <laughs> it's pretty easy. You could probably do it. Just pressing buttons. Yeah. Yeah. I really just look like I'm doing a lot, but actually <laughs> it's all autopilot. Yeah, Bjorn's actually doing it on the starboard wing. <laughs> <laughs> How would you rate Paul's docking today? It's pretty spot on. I'd take that one. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely 10 out of 10. <laughs> I mean, he keeps us safe, so I have to give it a 10. <laughs> you got to, you got to. We have a little tender grabbing our mooring lines, which are going to go onto the mooring balls. So I'm just making sure he doesn't come close to our bow thruster. Yeah, do I need to come full aft or what do you need? So we've just dropped off guests here in Porto Chervo. They were absolutely amazing guests. They were some of our favorite people ever. They were so active, always kite surfing, diving, doing all the fun activities that we love to do. They've promised to return in the Caribbean season later on in the winter. So uh, yeah, been, a, been an awesome trip. I'm about to go down the stairs, have a tip talk with the crew, let everybody know what the gratuity was, pros and cons of what went on with the trip and how we can improve again. And, uh, but besides that, we've got, what, a 60 hour passage I think Blair, 60 hours to uh, Dubrovnik. So uh, we're gonna pull out of here and it's uh, basically due south through the Straits of Messina between Sicily and mainland Italy and then around the bottom of the boot straight into Dubrovnik. So 60 hours to go, nice short passage for us and then uh, on to the next charter. So looking forward to it. Cool. All right, guys. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming. I know I haven't seen much of you the last couple of days. Uh, I've been stuck upstairs, swamped on my uh, computer, but um, definitely wanted to have this chat before the next trip starts. Um, overall, I think the last trip went pretty well. Uh, the guests were happy at the end. They were super stoked. So so glad that the kids were just kept really busy that whole time. So well done, boys. Thank you. Yep. And, uh, and, and everybody else, guys, really, really good trip there. They were super happy. Engineers, thank you for keeping the lights on. Um, you know. <laughs> so uh, rolling into the next one, but uh, actually we're gonna keep going. Uh, to that guys, they did, um, they were very happy. They left us a little over a 15% tip, which works out to be 4,800 each. So uh, nice one guys, well done for everyone there. I think that bought us up a little over 19,000 for the season so far. So, uh, you know, it's, it's doing well. So, no guys, well done. Uh, I'll should get that in, I should get that in my WISE account in the next couple of weeks, and then I'll uh, distribute it all to you evenly. So, uh, yeah, awesome. All right, guys, uh, six, uh, seven hours to go, and, uh, and then on deck tomorrow at 7 a.m. Yeah. Yes, yeah, let's do seven just so we're ready. Um, and then we'll, all, we'll start rolling into charter times. So, perfect. Cool. Thank, Thank you, everyone. One of our favorites, she's uh, a really cool boat. <laughs> I've got my absolute best friend, Sean, with me here. He absolutely loves me. Told you, it's that cousin you can't get rid of. Hate him. Should we go and see what Frank is up yeah, to? Yeah, cool. He's waving at the girl from Dojo. He's definitely, he's definitely looking at the girl. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, bro, a bit of chicken burger, a bit of Caesar salad, a bit Ooh. of coleslaw, crispy corn, some fries that will cross your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> now this is for the big dog upstairs. Every day, plated three times a day. All these stairs. Oh wait, just hold here, bro. Hold this. <laughs> and, um, shark in lowercase for me. <laughs> Two Blair's sister, that really hurt my feelings, just so you know. <laughs> um.